your boy. Let's go back to another action. And today for our two, Little Peep come over when we sold part two. Uh, it just dropped like a few minutes ago. So I'm excited to hear it. Oh, and by the way, I will be skipping the ones that I already reacted to. So if you want to check them out, just go ahead and look on my channel. But don't really have much to say. But let's just dive into this album. I'm excited to listen to it. So let's get straight into Scratch. Can get the handy dandy? Turtle Beaches, bro. Let's check out this album. I didn't even say the first track. It's called Broken Smile. Gotta go right now, that's all. Nothing short, don't expect no call. Yeah, I'll be back. She was the one with the broken smile. Okay. She was the one. She was the one that was worth my time. She okay. I really enjoyed that track, especially the second half when that beat came in and Little Peep's vocals on this track was freaking insane. His his uh, his uh vocals are really beautiful on this track. Smoke, my guy, this beat you put on, on it, this beat you made with his vocals, bro, beautiful. Really, really enjoyed this track. Broken Smile. That's a great, that, that was a great start to the track. The next track we're listening to is Sex With My Ex. Let's get it. I can feel the sudden emptiness I'm here to grant your one last wish So for me Oh my god, the shark thing I ain't on her deathbed Hear the sadness in your laughter She's afraid of what comes after me True love I don't know when I'll be back in town The producer Hold up, hold up Where we could take you but yeah, the the producers on this track really understand Peep's vibes because this this pump pump I said pump this punk rock beat, bro. I don't know who produced this beat, but it's freaking amazing. It goes perfectly with his voice on this track. Uh, let me know in the comment section if these are just older songs that they're putting on the track because y'all did tell me that uh, "Life Is Beautiful" was actually an old song, but they just threw a beat on it. So let me know if this if uh, these other songs are the same, but so far I'm loving it. Uh, Sex with my ex, instrumental is a one, and from and uh, from from this song Sex with my ex, I'm I'm getting the vibes of uh, awful things from this track, but I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, we we heard I reacted to Cry Alone. I don't think I heard Lean It, so that's the one we're gonna go to next. Lean It, let's get it. Tell me right now. Right now. I enjoyed that track. That track was sort of sad too, because I what I was getting from the song it sort of it sort of sounded like that he only really felt like himself when he was on the drugs and he really didn't know. Okay, okay, when he was on the drugs, he felt like himself, but when he was uh, when he was coming down and the drugs were wearing off, it sort of felt like he didn't know who he was and really how to continue being himself. So that's why he kept popping the drugs. That's what I got from it. This is a sad but amazing song. Again, the beat, the instrumentals they're using, the beats and the instrumentals they're using on this track are freaking fantastic. Leaning. I'm not going to say that's my favorite. I think my favorite so far is Sex With My Ex. But that's just what we heard so far. Let's get to the next track. Uh, I heard 16 lines. I reacted to it. Check my channel out. Life is beautiful. Reacted to it. Check my channel out. Now I mean, I mean, gotta plug it sometime. Gotta plug it. Uh, the next track is "Hate Me." Let's get it. From um, before, I know "Hate Me" was just about to start, but what I'm getting from this track is that Little Peep is getting was getting more and more comfortable with actually singing, uh, singing on on this album especially. Or I don't know, I don't know how he put these songs, 
but I feel like he's getting he's finding his he was finding his voice and was actually finding his own style. But Pete, bro, loving it so far. Let's get right back into Hate Me. I know I stopped it right there. I'm sorry. Let's get it. Again. Just have to mention that real quick. Now you calling me crazy. Girl, I know. Wow. That last part all, all, almost got me, bro. It almost got me teary-eyed. But Pete, bro, you didn't let anybody down. If anybody let anyone down, we, we let you down, bro. <sighs> Man, hate me, bro. Woo! I'm almost there. I, I hope these other songs aren't like that. But I, I love Hate Me. I feel like that was his most powerful song so far. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say Hate Me is his most powerful song so far. Enjoying it. But man, that last part, bro, was... And when they cut the beat off to let him sing on it, bro, my heart just broke a little. But Hate Me, that that's that's the saddest track I heard so far. Let's, let's continue with I, I Don't Give a Fuck. Producer, shout out to y'all. Y'all are freaking... In. Going crazy on this track. I mean, on this whole album. Can't stop, can't stop, girl, you know I can't stop, won't stop, can't stop, girl, you know it don't stop. Fuck me when the beat drop. Baby, fuck me till my heart stop. That beat yeah. drop was nice. Fuck me when the beat drop. Baby, fuck me till my heart stop. Mm. I, don't, I don't give a fuck. Um, that tr that track right there, that that beat though was a one. Especially when it said "fuck me to my beat." I mean, "fuck me when the beat drop," bro. And when that beat drop was freaking amazing. I'm telling you, the produce the producers on it on this track, man. I I I know I'm I keep repeating myself, but I gotta keep. Putting it into y'all head are freaking amazing, bro. But I enjoyed the track. I'm I'm not gonna say it was the best, but it wasn't the worst. If, if that makes sense, I don't know if that made sense. It made sense in my head, but I don't know. I I still enjoyed the track, but there's other tracks on on so far that I heard that I will put above this one. You get what I'm saying? Okay. Okay, let's get it. Uh, the next track, White Girl. On this track, I thought, just because of the title, I thought he was on. I thought he was talking about a girl, but listening to the actual song, I think he was. He was just really uh, talking about cocaine and how it really makes him feel, how it makes him feel sort of, how it makes him feel sort of loved. It's actually making him feel something, and that it's actually making him feel like. Giving the, giving him the feeling that he always wanted. To always feel like he mattered. And that I completely lost my train of thought. But let me know in the comment section what this song, uh, what it meant and what it meant to you. Because that that's sort of what I was getting from it. I know I was all, I was sort of, I, lo I may have lost you during the trip. But my mind is fried. It's like. One in the morning right now. This album just came out, so I, I won't really have my process thoughts, process with it all right now. Let's just go ahead and continue to the uh, to the next track. Fingers. Let's get it. Oh, 
Uh, if you want to check out the full album, I'm leaving in the description because I'm gonna have to chop up a lot. Of, I'm gonna have to chop up a good portion of this album to put it on YouTube. That was, that was the last, well, the last track that I haven't reacted to because I reacted to Falling Down and to Light Your Skin. Check them out on my channel if you have it. But now, here comes this, the sad part. That this was the last ever music we're going to get from Pete. And that's really shocking to say. Cause this this man was in his own lane, really had his own style and, and his voice it was iconic, bro. Now if I continue before my camera died, like I was saying, this is a beautiful a beautiful album. I'm sad that it's the last art that we're gonna get from Little Pete, but Little Pete put his soul into every single one of his songs, and we can go back to listen to his old tracks because he has nothing but classic hits. And there's still some old Little Peep songs that I haven't heard, so I'm going to get around to those also. But man, the producers on this track got to give them a round of applause because this, those those beats they made on this track are freaking amazing. Uh, Pete, bro, rest in peace, man. We can tell that you put your all into this project, and I, I loved every single track. Uh, but if you want to see my reaction to the other tracks, I'll, if I don't put them in the link, I'm gonna need you to just go look, just type in Scoop Swain, Lil Peep, you'll get all of them, all of them things, all right? But if I do, then I do. Or I might put them at the, uh, on the end thing, for anno annotation, I think that's what it is. It might be there. But Pete, bro, love the track. I said track, love the album. I'm gonna definitely have to list, listen to this. I'm gonna, have the, I'm gonna have this album on repeat for a good, good week or so. But I loved every single track. Glad that we did get this. And we didn't miss out on, on anything. And we got all your music. <sighs> that, that was that was, that was was tough to listen to. I'm not going to lie to you. I sort of wish I didn't react to the video separately. Because I sort of feel like it sort of fucked up the flow of this uh, of the album. But once I, once I listen to it by myself, I'm going to just... Tune out and let him sing to me. But Pete's vocals were freaking amazing on this track. Enjoyed it. The producers again, A1. And shout out to Pete, to Peep Small for uh for everything she's doing. And I know that this is hard. I know ever since he passed away, life's just been a a, a a tough journey. But she's a strong woman, and I'm praying for her, bro. But if you did enjoy, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. And if you do have any other reaction just from me in the comment section with every single comment and i will get to your when i can bro rest easy peace